it's the perfect time of the season for the greenhouse to be a complete disaster. We're in between most of our plantings and we're gonna do a cool little project today. We've got some wood that is left over from building the vegetable stand and some of this plastic was left over from the end of the high tunnel being built. And uh, we're gonna make us some raised beds that are portable. So hit that subscribe button, then come hang out with us. Got everything laid out so we can see what sizes we need. We got a skill saw to cut everything with. We got a drill and we'll shortly have the correct head to put screws in it. Got a speed square, got water, stay hydrated. And a note that I would like to make is this right here. This is all untreated wood. You don't want the copper and byproducts getting into your little vegetable beds. I doubt that you would die, but you know, it's just the best practices deal. So without further ado, let's start. We're gonna make this piece right here our lid. So we want it to be at least that square. This measures to 42 inches. So we're gonna cut that off. Everything's drilled in, and as you can see, these two short pieces right here, uh, they are on opposite sides, obviously, and our frame is perfectly square. There we've got both of our, our top and bottom done, and we've got all these little scraps over here. Which happen to be the perfect size to put us this on right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna screw these on real quick. All right, there's the scraps on the corner. This is gonna be our bottom piece. I've got it lined up right here smooth and lined up right there smooth and vinyl white's gonna hold it for me while I put a screw in. There's that. Can he do it? Nope. All right, we're gonna put the camera down. You know that's funny. There it is. And we're just gonna go around all four corners and put one of these on it. Daddy, forgot you, Anna. We've gained some helpers. We've got all the short pieces on here. They ended up being a foot and five eighths. Now we're gonna take this next piece and we're gonna sit in here. Hi. All right, Hello. Pick up this piece. Oh, well. We want it to be opposite of what this one is. So it'll be like that. Yep, let's sit it in there. Tapping this in just a little bit at a time so we don't get it all crooked. And see this space? We're gonna get rid of that space. We're gonna put it all the way in. Oh, we're building a fancy house? Uh-huh. 
Ari, she said this ain't a planter, it's a what? What is this thing, no Kate? A fancy house. Oh. All right, this is no longer a planter, it's now a fancy house. Now you're going to get your piece of, uh, what do you call this stuff? What do you call that? Plastic. Yeah. All right, now you're going to get your piece of plastic and you're going to trim it up to the correct size, which correlates to this. I've already kind of measured it out. I know i got to take this little top piece off right here. And there it is. It fits perfectly snug. Guess what? We're done. That's all we're going to do. You'd say, well, why wouldn't we build a, uh, a frame all the way around this right here? I'll tell you why. Because if we did that, it would get busted out and then you'd have a wood frame with uh, probably no other scraps to replace it. So here it is. This is all we're gonna do. And if this ever gets busted, we'll just have a planter. Something else you might wanna consider is if you're trying to protect something from frost, which is why you have these, uh, you might want to get you a piece of wood and put right here in the corner and just let it sit down on it, all four corners. And that way it won't overheat during the daytime or you really, you could take it off during the daytime. Um, but I assume if you know about a cold frame, you know that anyways. So here is your easy scrap cold frame planter. Folks, you can do this with junk that's laying around. Some old two by sixes and a piece of corrugated plastic. If you don't got that, you can go get it at Lowe's super easy you can do it don't forget hit that subscribe button right there hit the bell so that every time i put out a video you get a notification god bless y'all see you back here on the farm next time